reading inequalities. Okay, so we have been solving inequalities, so now we are going to start reading inequalities. And this is very, very easy compared to what you've been doing. So you're going to start by looking at the dots. So if you remember, a closed circle represents less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. An open circle represents less than or greater than. So if we can remember that, this is the equal to, this is the not equal to ones. Okay, that will take out half the battle. So if I look at this first one, I'm going to pick a variable. I'm going to say x5 because that's the number it's on. And then I know it's equal to. So now I have to decide, is x bigger than 5 or smaller than 5? If I look, the arrow points towards 6. And I know 6 is greater than 5. So I'm going to draw the greater than sign. You can also look, like we talked about when we solved them, this arrow points this way, so my inequality points that way. So my second one, I have an open circle. So x, 1, I'm not going to have an equal to line. And then 0 is smaller than 1, so x is less than 1. So in my third, I have a circle at negative 7. Okay, so negative 7, x, no equal to because it's not colored in, and then it goes to 6, and this is negative 6. So even though it looks like it's getting smaller, it's negative, so really x is greater than negative 7. So my last one before the unique example, I'm at 10. So then I've got to look, it's colored in, so it's got to be greater than. I mean, sorry, it's got to be equal to. So then 9 is smaller than 10, so that is less than. So this last one is a unique one. If you look, there is no dot. It colors the whole line. So if you remember, we talked about two additional types of solutions. We talked about no solution and all real numbers. So in this case, if this line is going to go forever along with my number line, then that means all numbers work. So I would say it's all real numbers, or if you remember, it's that unique R that we write. So this is how we read a graph that's um, an inequality and we write it.